Over 20 million Krispy Kremes are produced annually, and it all begins with the mixing of the dough. First, a factory worker pours a secret flour mix into the mixer. The exact components of this mix have been kept secret since the company's inception in 1937. And while we can speculate on the components of this mix, the measurements of each one remains unknown. This is yet another factor that makes Krispy Kremes difficult to replicate. The secret flour mix contains special amounts of flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, milk, eggs, flavoring, and yeast. And finally, water is added in. The mixer combines all these ingredients for exactly 14 minutes, and by then, a consistent dough is formed. A factory worker removes the dough from the mixer and places it in a container. Using their hands, the worker beats and sways the dough and checks for the temperature to ensure it's between 86 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, the dough is transferred to a hopper, where it's allowed to rest for precisely 10 minutes. After resting in the hopper, the dough is mass transferred to a pressurized chamber, which forces it through cutters. These cutters are shaped like donuts, and the donuts get their ring shape here. The cut donuts are transferred from the cutter to a climate controlled box through a conveyor system. In this box, the donuts are arranged on hanging racks and are allowed to rest for about 30 minutes. The temperature, humidity, and other physical conditions in the box create the perfect environment for the yeast to act, therefore causing the donuts to rise. By the end of the 30 minutes, the donuts become plump and more donut-like compared to the flat rings initially placed inside the box. After spending 30 minutes in the climate-controlled box, the donuts are dropped into the fryer which contains oil preheated to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the fryer, the donuts are allowed to cook for about two minutes on each side, making the exterior of the donuts brown while ensuring it is well cooked on the inside. Next, the donuts are taken to the donut theater, where they are glazed in the staple white creamy coat or other flavors of creams and sprinkles, depending on your order. The next step is the glazing of the donuts, which is everyone's favorite part. However, what is donut glazing made from? The sweet creamy glaze is made using just three ingredients, powdered sugar, whole milk, and vanilla extract. First, the milk is boiled for a few minutes, and after the required temperature is achieved, it is taken off the heat and powdered sugar is added. The sugar melts in the hot milk, and for the extra flavoring, the vanilla extract is added as well. Finally, the glaze is ready and passed through a cascading waterfall machine. As the hot glaze flows down the fountain, the fresh, hot donuts are passed under as well, giving the donuts their finishing touch. When the glaze cools, the melted sugar hardens, which gives the donut the crustiness it's known for. Next, the donuts are boxed or placed on display in Krispy Kreme restaurants worldwide. Approximately 72,000 donuts go through this process every day in all Krispy Kreme outlets, where customers enjoy these crispy donuts with a cup of hot coffee. Some people prefer to eat their Krispy Kremes while it's hot, while others wait for it to cool to enjoy the crispy sugary coating. However, you can't go wrong either way, because the glaze melts in your mouth regardless.